In this video, we're going to illustrate some Julia sets. First, let us indulge in a brief explanation of what this is all about. We assume we have a given complex polynomial function. We can see this is a recipe that assigns a new point to each point on the complex plane. You can use this recipe again and again to get a sequence of points. So we start with a point z, then form f of z, and we apply f to it again so that we have f of f of z, and so on. And now there are two possibilities. Either the sequence remains in a bounded area of the complex plane, or its magnitude becomes arbitrarily large. In the first case, that is if the sequence remains bounded, we will color the starting point z in black in the illustration that we'll see later on. Otherwise, we mark it in color. Color plays an important role here. It encodes the escape speed of this sequence. This is the number of iterations it has taken before the magnitude of the point exceeds a predefined threshold. The edge of the black area obtained by this procedure is called the Julia set of the function f. It is named after the French mathematician Gaston Julia. Let us look at a particularly simple example. Take the polynomial f of z equals z squared. There are three cases here. If the absolute value of the starting point z is less than 1, and we continue to square this point, then the magnitude becomes smaller and smaller. That is, the sequence of points converge to the zero point, or the origin, in the complex plane. So in particular, it remains bounded. If the magnitude of z is 1, then every power of z will have magnitude 1. So here we don't necessarily have convergence, but at least the sequence remains bounded. That means we can paint these points black. If the magnitude of the starting point z is greater than 1, then the magnitude of the powers of z will go towards infinity. So we're not in the black area. That means the black area in this case is the unit disk centered at the origin and its edge the unit circle. This is the Julia set of the function f of z equals z squared. In the animation we'll see shortly, we consider the Julia sets of similar polynomials, namely f of z equals z squared plus a constant. And the value of this constant will vary in the course of the animation. We start at c equals negative 1.5 and eventually end up at c equals positive 0.5. In between, there will also be the case c equals 0, which we have just discussed. We'll see in the animation that the Julia set depends very much on the value c. That is, the Julia set changes considerably by changing the function f.